If you are looking over here at this, a standard orientation parabola, upward facing vertex at the origin, you have two equation forms. One is this, a parentheses x minus h whole square plus k, but there's no translation of any form. It simplifies to y is equal to ax square, where a based on its value gives you some form of horizontal or vertical compression or stretch, you know that. But there's another form, you know that to be x squared is equal to 4py. How can we relate the 4p and the a? You can. In this particular case, push the y on the other side, you'll have x squared over y is equal to 4p. Here, do the same. Push the y on this side and the a on the other side, I have x squared over y is equal to 1 over a. Now relate these to each other, they're equal to each other, you'll say 4 is equal to 1 over ap. So you're seeing a relationship over here, which is this. The reciprocal of your a and the focal point factor, the product of those two will always be equal to 4. This relationship helps you interrelate both of these equation forms, which represent the same parabola, albeit in different ways. And I'll give you an example. You know this, y is equal to, let's say, 4x squared, standard orientation parabola with a certain vertical stretch to it. Ver vertex is at the origin, but you can easily relate this into x squared is equal to 4py form, and I'll show you how by means of this. You know clearly here a is equal to 4, bring it in here. 4 is equal to 1 over 4p. Play around with this, you'll have p is equal to 1 over 16, so you have that. When you look at it in this form, I have x squared is equal to 4 times p, 1 over 16, times y. When you simplify this, you'll have x squared is equal to y over 4. So you have that form, but this form is exactly equal to that form. If you were to just push the 4 over here, you'll have y is equal to 4x squared. But you've interrelated both of these forms using this factor. The reciprocal of your a and your p, the product of those two, is always equal to the 4, which you end up seeing here in the definition of a parabola. This is a very interesting relationship to know.